on today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. Can your pastor use ProPresenter on a Mac when you use a PC or vice versa? Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week we look at the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So this is a question that comes off comes up very often, and it's basically, okay, my pastor uses a PC or a Mac, interchangeable, and I use a PC or a Mac. Either way, just the opposite one. Can I use one for the other and vice versa? Well, let's once again go to the new video that I recorded for the ProPresenter for Pastors course and take a look at my answer. I wanted to get this out of the way right at the beginning. A lot of pastors will say, well, I don't have a computer that can run ProPresenter. My team uses a Mac and I use a PC or my team uses a PC and I use a Mac. First off, you should know that uh, you can get a version of ProPresenter for either. You can get Pro 6 for the Mac or Pro 6 for the PC. And by the way, if you're creating on a computer, you don't need a license for that computer. You need a license to show uh, a ProPresenter presentation and you can create on an unlicensed machine and then show it on a licensed machine. So that shouldn't be a concern either. And these are cross-platform. Well, the software isn't, but the presentations are. So you can make it on Pro 6 for the PC, or ProPresenter 5 for the PC, and show it in ProPresenter 6 for the Mac, or ProPresenter 5 for the Mac. So they go back and forth, now you want to go Pro 5 to Pro 5 or Pro 6 to Pro 6, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward in that they they do go both directions. So that's something that I wanted to illustrate to you, that you do have the ability on most computers, most of the ones that are in use today, to run ProPresenter. It is, however, possible that you have a Linux machine. Maybe you don't use a traditional computer. Maybe you use an iPad, and you just type on that with a Bluetooth keyboard, something like that. If the, Or maybe your computer is so old that since all you're doing is typing, you don't really worry about getting a, a better computer, so it won't run either of these. Let me show you another solution, and if we go to text edit, you can just type in a line of text like I've done here, save this out as just a simple text document, and as long as you can get that out of your computer, either with a USB drive, USB key, thumb drive, whatever you call it, or by emailing it, then you can... Uh, take this and import that into ProPresenter. I'll show you how to do that in a subsequent lesson, but know that your team can do that as well if that's just something you don't have time for or something you don't want to do. No problem, it's a really simple process. So either way, you should be able to create your sermon notes in uh, something that you can either uh, import into ProPresenter or in ProPresenter itself. Well, I hope that clears things up. Turns out they're interchangeable with one exception. This is something that I found out since I recorded this uh, class, and I'll absolutely put it in the notes, but if you have MIDI cues in the Mac version and you bring it into the PC version, the PC version will mess with that because it doesn't know what they are. So that's the one exception. But since very, very few people are using those, and even fewer 
people are using them in a mixed environment, that's probably not an issue for you. If it is, then I'd suggest you look at the uh, previous week and just have the pastor type out the notes in a Word document or in a text document. Actually, a text document's better because there's no invisible characters that can mess with things. If you like this content, you'd really like the uh, Pro Presenter for Pastors class. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro6pastors and uh, you can get that course there. If you'd prefer to just get my email newsletter and get all sorts of tips and tricks and discounts on courses, etc., head over to Trinity Digital Media. That's what TDM in the TDM.FYI stands for. TrinityDigitalMedia.com slash newsletter, and you can subscribe there, and I'll send you a uh, great gift, including some uh, little mini courses on ProPresenter. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.